when I was like, ah, I don't want to do this anymore, we just stopped and focused on something else. And I, I think, uh, I think if anyone here is making stuff and you know, you're starting to do it, but you don't feel it anymore. It's super fire to just stop. Like, well, I don't want to do this anymore. And that's okay. And just go do something else. Cause you're not married to it. Um, in the literal sense, but also like, you don't have to be married to ideas because it's there. It's like, put it to the side. So, okay. 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 I don't want it to sit in your closet. I you want you to wear it. it and dirty it up and live in it and have an orgy in it and write a song. Um, I've always been a figure it out mm. type of guy. Even when I was a kid, I couldn't screen print t-shirts. So I went to office max and bought the iron on stuff Yo. and saved money up to buy the good ink yeah printed those designs ironed it on on a few t-shirts sold those would do that to garner up enough money to actually get the first one screen printed wow. so like everything is figure outable it just depends on if you mm -hmm. have the energy to do mm -hmm. that that's that's willpower right there yeah. like, and creative right like you yeah. figure out the resources everything is figure outable it's just like you gotta figure that out you know shutting things down I i've worked with people where it's like yo what if we do this and then they already edit in their head and mm -hmm. then they're like oh someone said no to something like that before so i don't know well this way and i'm like bro get out the gutter worst coming to worst it's a no but let's at least try and then fail mm -hmm. and with converse it's like man we had so many different ideas that didn't work and it's okay because all of that got us to this one end result that doesn't even have anything to do with it, but you just learn along the way. And, and I've always had a dream of making um, a clothing brand like you. And they always told me you have to be at some point of like a success level to be able to do that. And yeah, I just want to know like your take on that because that's after I, I left the label and because I just felt like I wasn't treated right. And don't take this the wrong way. That is the goopiest I've ever heard. And I'm saying that because it's like, you clearly want to make some so why not just make it? Because I'm scared. Of what? I don't know. Exactly. You just answered your own question. <laughs> you know? Just make what you want to make. And probably the person who told, like, who told you that? One of the label people. <laughs> Do you like how they dress? No. So why the f are you listening to them? Not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. So go make you trying to make. It's, I'm going to do it. Yeah. But like, for real, don't like hype yourself up now and then go home and be like, oh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> do it. Worst come to worst, what's going to happen? You make it. Someone says they don't like it. All right. <laughs> Will you like it? Yeah. And that's all that matters. Yeah, dude, like, and we could put this on the shirt and then, no, when I go on stage because we're performing at a church, I'm going to pull my pants down and hump the <laughs> air. And that man is right there like, all right, I'm right there with you. <laughs> and what that is is everyone wants a cheerleader, which just goes back to if I walk in Converse and I'm like, yo, I know no one's going to buy this, but let's do an all silver shoe that looks like 3M that on the jackets construction workers wear and they're like all right fuck it let's do it <laughs> and you need that you need yeah. cheerlead everyone wants a cheerleader Absolutely. i'm currently starting my first business and it's on bike mechanics and it's not bike mechanics mm -hmm. yeah that's but, hard like, i'm open a shop here in paris okay bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can come by whenever hell yeah um, that's hard thank you but it's not necessarily what I call my passion because I prefer arts, but I feel like it's a freedom that I can give to other people. Mm. But I don't know how to make it so that it doesn't define me as, oh yeah, that's Rogo a mechanic, like, you know, like. That's on you, like, how, uh, that's if you go everywhere, yo, I'm the bike dude, <laughs> like. <laughs> but I'd be riding bikes, so people just think like, oh, he's a bike kid. You know, and that's okay. I drive cars. It's 
who only know me because of the cars I drive. And that that's okay though. because they're in the cars. And it's people. She asked me a producer question. She don't give a f about this shoe. She want to know what I do on Logic. And that's okay. And then someone else asks me about clothes. Like, that's okay. Only you let people define you. That, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Make the bike shop and then go to the art shows <laughs> after you. It's easy. Thank you. Y'all stressing me out. I just make stuff. <laughs> I just make stuff I like at the time. And, you know, I, I think as you get older, things get more refined and yeah. you become more of a sniper with your things if you want. But I think I've just become more of a sniper of what I'm trying to do. And I think I live life. Yeah. Like I go and do stuff and it's shown in my work. Yeah. So whether it's shown in my work through sound or through cloth mm -hmm. or through visual stuff, it feels cohesive because of that, mm -hmm. because I'm just, that, that's what it is, so. Right, right. It's basically like your lifestyle translated into your art. Pretty much. At least that shows I'm not a liar. <laughs> or your whole life is a lie. Or my whole life is a lie. So I'm it's, fucking it's, really good. I, just, I, think, I really think the internet ramped up in 2016. Mm -hmm. Like something happened and just, phew. And because of that, like, it's no more privacy. Yeah. Everyone wants to know something. Everyone wants a leak. Everyone wants to just know things. Nothing could be a surprise. And if I sit here and tell you what we have planned or what da 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 da, then it's no point in really working on how to even show you. Yeah. Like the element of surprise is fun. The the initial, oh, I hate this or Ugh, I like this. It will get lost if I'm like, yo, in three months, I'm putting out an orange shirt. And then when I put it out, <laughs> when I put it out, you knew it was gonna come, so it's, <laughs> that excitement is gone. So I can't even answer that question. That's fair. That's Instant gratification is not always not the true. homie. Forms of like insecurity to me. When artists put a snippet up of a song on the internet and wait to see how people react to it and let the, let the crowdsourcing of opinion dictate if they're gonna put that out. How do you not like your own song enough to put it out? How do you mm. wait to, oh, they not with it? We'll scratch it. Oh, they with it? All right, let's rush and, 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 keep, and keep doing that and then shoot a video for it. It's like, no, just put this out. Like, what? No. <laughs> How like, when they be like, yo, sneak peek. <laughs> and it's a sample. It's a sample that's not going to come out for nine months. I know yeah. my shoes work. Yeah, you know how it works. And then, like, if people were like, ooh, this ain't it. And then that they one, go that away. One comes out, right. then they we work. But it's like, bro, have confidence in your shit. Mm. Like, I, I hate, I hate the leak snippet. Oh, this is what I'm working on. Sneak peek. Shit. Like, bro, just put the shit out when it's done and go a hundred percent. Have confidence in what you're gonna put That's out. That's how I do with music. You don't see me like, yo, new album coming in eight months. I shut the up till it's done, <laughs> <laughs> and then one day I pop the <laughs> out. You either like it or not, but I'm going full force with that shit, and bam. <laughs> a version of this stuff for a while people were like oh he rode the bike so sweet i do that all the time <laughs> but like it's more nuanced it was an ill moment but like yeah i pretty i just do i like and i've always done things i like yeah